Welcome to the Dreamkeeper channel. The black dog sat with me in my dream. So this was like a spiritual dream I had and it was, uh, it was quite a strange one because it was basically just like I was sitting there in my dream and then a black dog came up and sat with me and uh, like when I initially looked it up and it was it wasn't a good it was saying like it was a bad omen and and stuff like that uh, so so I was a bit like uh, like a bit uh, concerned about it kind of thing so I just I just put it to the back of my mind and and just like says I'll just forget that one kind of thing but uh, it, it actually it, it ties into like another dream I had as well which is quite strange too so like uh, with this dream I just put it to the back of my mind and then because of the other dream uh, that's called the the eagle was gifting me white feathers in my dream so that dream led me up to a place in uh, North East Scotland called the Eagle Stone and then when I was up visiting the Eagle Stone a black dog came out of the trees on its own just randomly and was barking and it looked exactly like the dog that was in my dream and I thought, Ken, that was, it was too much of a coincidence, like I don't believe in coincidences. So it was really, again, strange, like the, the, like initially I thought it was doom and gloom and then like it appeared in real life as well. And I thought that's, that's just crazy kind of thing, so I, I looked it up and, uh, and obviously connected it with other dream. The, the eagle was gifting me white feathers in my dream. And uh, this is what it said. A spiritual dream featuring a black dog that comes and sits with you, coupled with the real life experience of an encounter in a black dog near the eagle stone from another dream, is rich in symbolism and may indicate a deep connection between your dream world and waking life. Guardian and Protector In many cultures, dogs symbolise loyalty, protection and companionship. A black dog sitting with you in a dream may represent a protective presence or a guardian spirit offering you comfort and support. The fact the dog also appeared in real life could suggest that this protective energy is with you in both realms, guiding and safeguarding you. Connection to the Shadow Self The colour black often represents the unknown, the unconscious or the shadow aspects of the self. The black dog might symbolise a part of yourself that you are becoming more comfortable with or integrating. This could be an aspect of your personality, past experiences or emotions that you've previously ignored or repressed. Spiritual Guide or Messenger Dogs in spiritual contexts are sometimes seen as messengers or guides from the spirit world. The black dog appearing in both your dream and waking life may be a spiritual guide leading you towards deeper insights or protecting you as you explore spiritual paths such as visit, visiting significant places like the Eagle Stone. Synchronicity and Spiritual Connection the appearance of the black dog near the eagle stone in real life following your dream suggests a strong synchronicity, an event where your inner experiences, dreams and outer reality align in meaningful ways. This can indicate that you're in a period of heightened spiritual awareness where the boundary between the dream world and waking life becomes thin allowing for profound spiritual experiences and messages to come through. 
Eagle Stone Connection. The Eagle Stone in your dreams and its significance in real life could symbolise a place of power or spiritual significance. The Black Dog's appearance there might be emphasising the importance of this location for your spiritual journey, perhaps making it as a place where you can connect deeply with your spiritual guides or the energies you are working with. The black dog in both your dream and waking life seems to be significant spiritual symbol, potentially representing protection, guidance and a connection to deeper, perhaps hidden aspects of your spiritual path. The synchronicity of encountering the dog at the Eagle Stone suggests that you're in tune with the spiritual messages and energies around you and it may be beneficial to continue exploring these connections and the meanings behind them. This vision could be encourage, encouraging you to trust in the guidance you're receiving and to pay close attention to the symbols and signs that appear in your life. So for me, this one's quite, it's quite wild I suppose, like I've never had like two dreams that connect together like in real life at, at the same time, at the same point kind of thing. It's, it's really kind of strange for me, like I've never experienced anything like that before. Obviously like when I I had that dream of I've got the video that I made the video eh, the, the ego was gifting me white feathers in my dream then I'd, I'd seen something about the Brahan Seer or the Bran Seer up in the northeast of Scotland and I was like again it was the way it all happened was strange and then it was the ego rock and I was like that's like the, the thing that was in my dream so I ended up going up there to see it to like follow my dream so to speak so me and one of my friends went because he knew where it was, he stays up there. And then when we were walking down to the Eagle uh, Rock or the Eagle Stone, then the dog jumped out, the black dog. <laughs> and I was like, that that's mental because like again, I already had the picture for the thumbnail made up and I showed him it. And I said, I had that dream obviously like before I even came up here. And it was, it was just all very kind of strange and stuff. And then obviously like looking up and knowing that they're connected, like the guardian and protector, like as the dog, like my guardian and protector for the dream world and the real world kind of thing, it kind of makes sense and connection to the shadow self. It's all like I'm, like I'm moving between worlds or, or that, can moving between realms and they're connecting. A spiritual guide or messenger could be guiding me and sending me messages and stuff like that. So that all kind of ties in and the synchronicity and spiritual connection is basically that is what it was. Again, it's, it's all strange how you can hear like two separate dreams that lead you to one place and you, you see both like the dreams kind of at the, in the real world at the same time. It's, it's quite, it's really again some quite, it's quite an experience. Like it's quite a, like I got shivers and everything. And obviously the Eagle Stone connection. Eh, like I'll definitely be going back up there to see that again. There's obviously some kind of meaning there or maybe in that area. Uh, and it's quite strange to that the Eagle Stone was connected to, he was called the Bran Seer, and he used to have visions and stuff. And he had a Hag Stone, and that, I've got a Hag Stone. And like, like that was, it all kind of fell in place, and that's why I ended up going up there with the Eagle was in my dream, in a stone circle, and the Hag Stone, the Seer kind of thing. So it was, it's sort of like quite, it's quite complex, but quite, quite strange and really. I don't know how you think, feel about it. Like, like I say, I've never experienced anything like that. But uh, it's definitely, I'm going to need to keep an eye on this and, and see if any of my other dreams link up and stuff. Because that's really, it's really interesting. And it's pretty cool as well, I think. Just 
obviously strange as well. Like, if I wasn't doing all this in general, I'd be thinking I was, like, losing the plot or something like that. But uh, it all seems to be falling into place, so I'm obviously doing what I'm supposed to be doing in the places where I'm supposed to be doing it. And I'm getting help and guidance and protection for, like, a spirit guide, the dog and the dream world and the waking life and stuff. So really quite, really quite interesting and really cool for me that the two dreams like tied in together kind of thing and then manifested into like real life. Yeah, but that's this one anyway.